facial rip. That was cool. Oh! Welcome to No Contest Bali. We're sitting at the Uluwatu Surf Villas. We're gonna get a session with Mason Ho in a little bit. We're gonna find out if Karamas is in fact the best air ramp in the world. We're gonna go backstage at Red Bull Airborne. With oh my God, brother. Do one for the brother. Out there. <laughs> and we're gonna cook up some traditional Indonesian food. Cooking up a nasi goreng. This is No Contest Bali. From Australia, we're headed to the third stop on the World Championship Tour, Bali. And to what many consider to be the most high performance wave, a venerable Indonesian black sand skate park called Karamas. I'm from Bali, my name is Nyoman. We have a water safety team here. We've been doing this for nearly how many years? About 10 years been doing here, ten and years. Uluwatu and stuff around here. Yeah. Karamas means uh, wash hair in Balinese word. Yeah. Washing hair with the sampo and stuff, that's what called Karamas. Yeah, this is the Karamas, which is one of the best surf swell in Bali. When it's big, you can stand up, tube riding here, yeah. There are always people try to get in, and some fishing boat try to get close to the surfers to watch closer, so we try to push them away. I'm a local, so, they are fishermen here, so they are local here. That's kind of, we need to calm ourselves down to talk to those people. Yeah. <laughs> Respect the local. <laughs> While other waves might offer more size and power, no location on the World Championship Tour offers a more high performance platform than Karamas. And with the world's best in town, we were more than happy to sit poolside at Commune and enjoy the show. We know this program to bring you a live broadcast from the once defunct but now resurrected lost arts. Don't you feel it? Brego. Revolution is knocking, resolution is knowledge. Get your hand on my pocket, no weapon made can conquer my inner pain. That started my evolution around me. Persecuted and tidy, they instituted the violence that started my defiance. Give no respect or alliance. Less men get rich than ones who die trying. Less making commitments, dollars have no bias. Show you how to move in a den full of lions. If the dinner ain't cooking, you gotta know where to find it. Even if you paint pretty, you can't change the climate in my inner sanctum. My hard work is thankless, bold print the statement. I could show you something that's suited for all ages. Back when I used to hide the heist in cross spaces All for the cost of blank slate your faces From the sinister cemetery Real life visionary, not preliminary My kingdom is ruled by Vikings Why we can't have nice things When that hunger rings Watch as they resort to biting Why I look crooked, Lee took from me everything Off the rope and out the tree to Washington Booker T Watch the way you talk to me because I speak awfully Even when mocking me, you gotta do it awkwardly Often dark thoughts speak, giving me these allergies When I sneeze, who's gonna bless me? Counted one blessing and then it got depressing I counted Get, see what your team stop suggesting We make it our business to see and remain different Same day, different dark feeling, black state of living Counterfeits keep trying to hack my religion Every night I pray that all, but the whack be forgiven Am I ignorant? You're nobody to that make a wax figure Rap cinema, call the minister what I minister A sinister, pivotal, pitiful, criminal, lyrical prisoner Remember the signature when I deliver the finisher Born and risen with menace miniatures Drop dead center in the sinner's dilemma Don't make fun of the service, they just ain't used to the tremors While I keep in a sweet life, my pocket of Bitters. Makes my air a bit thinner, I'm what remains on the filter You should be more considerate, pay your anguish a visit Raided the village, just to make the place more militant Painted an image and I don't give a braille who feeling it Mail the sentiment, while I'm out breaking my ligaments Snatching your black citizens, filling them with Here's the deal, them. every day there's people moving in here And from everywhere in the world There's so many characters here It's like a, it's a whole different world, it's like this fake universe that you live in over here <laughs> There's no shortage of junk Australians and it's pretty wild. Oh my god, this is setting me up to say something bad. <laughs> <Bro -y. Yeah. laughs> They're good looking. Super short shorts. Some of them will wear beanies. Probably some sort of ponytail man bun. Goaties and man buns. It falls off the motorbike and has a burn. It's just kind of strange. I feel like I'm fitting right in. I'm just kidding. We call them Shangu boys. Long haired, you know, dude would be strong there and they think they're reaping. So I think there's just something about the place. Maybe they're here. Just go to Changu and you'll see them all right there. <laughs> Bali will always be a magnet for traveling surfers from all over the world looking for warm water and hollow fare. But in the last five years, the area has seen an exponential rise in both westernized expat business and tourism. Whether it's aspiring yogis, fashion designers relocating for the access to clothing manufacturing, or Instagram influencers taking advantage of endless selfie backdrops, 
There's perhaps nowhere in the world that you can enjoy a more opulent lifestyle for less money than here. While much of the island might be fairly unrecognizable from what it looked like a mere decade ago, despite its near mythical allure to servers from all over the world, nowhere else in Bali has retained its essential magic like Uluwatu. So we headed up the hill with Mason Ho to get a taste of the Bukit Peninsula magic and to meet up with Balinese international ambassador Rizal Tanjam, one of his oldest pals, Kelly Slater, and one of Bali's first pioneers in the 1970s. Who are we watching surf right now? The master. Jerry Lopez is out. <laughs> Jerry likes this spot. How old were you roughly when you started seeing the changes or when you kind of were like, whoa, whoa, hey, what, like, what's going on here? Well, yeah, like, maybe when I was like, after uh, I was 17 years old, I started traveling the world, right? Yeah. To surf contests and go to Hawaii every winter. So maybe when I was like 26, 27. Yeah, when you started kind of growing up. Yeah, like, up, like 10 years after I traveled, like, yeah. oh my God, our place is like, all of a sudden, you felt it changed a lot, you know. I mean, then what year was that? Roughly like mid '90s, uh, early 90, '90s. 20, uh, 2005. Whoa! Yeah. Because so I'm 44. Oh, I have less hair than you. <laughs> you look 10 <laughs> years younger than, than me, than and you're 10 years man. older. That's <laughs> good living. That's Bali. That's, that's Bali life, bro. Concept, bro. You rewind yourself back to the '70s, and you know, if you're out in the water, things are still very similar. Paddling out through the cave or you know paddling into a double up at temples or watching one of those beautiful kind of green emerald walls come in at Penang and lining up the double up like to me that feels exactly the same as it did when I was a kid and that's what I fell in love with. If you ask an old timer he'd probably be grumpy about how it's changed but for me it's magical. You know that feeling of being in the water in one of those kind of groomed Indian Ocean swells with a trade wind is like never gonna get old. So there's gotta be something wrong with you to not like it. Yeah. <laughs> Probably my favorite place in the world. Right? Yeah, literally it is. Like, look at this setup. We got that straight into that. Bali's got a lot more for the traveling surfer to sink his teeth into than just blue water and big barrels. Today, with the influx of Western influence over the last half decade, Bali has no shortage of absolutely world-class restaurants, all taking full advantage of the area's remarkable range of fresh produce. 
But for most of the world tour, after a long day in the sun, there's nothing quite like sitting down to some traditional Indonesian cuisine at the local Warung. Everybody loves Bali. Come to Bali, great food. Yeah, if you're bummed on the crowd, you just eat all day. Yep. Having a surf, coming in and having a jaffle. Nasi campur, basically. Nasi campur. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. I love the nasi goreng. You know, finishing the day with a nasi campur and a bintang. And mi goreng's the local food. The food part is f***ing next level. Local style is good. I love the food here. You know, to keep it traditional and local is the way to do it. Nasi goreng's awesome. Yeah, I back the food. I always try to eat mi goreng and nasi goreng. <laughs> Spend up drinking more and eating more. The local food's my favorite. So that's what I grew up on. We're here at Warung Legong, a uh, traditional Indonesian restaurant right across the street from Paramus. When the entire tour gets tired of eating at Commune, they come over here for some proper Indonesian food. We're here with Leo Firavanti and Carissa Moore. We're going to get him in the kitchen to learn how to make nasi goreng, which everyone's eating every single day while they're here. It's like fried rice with an egg and tons of Indonesian spices. And I get the sense that Leo knows his way around a kitchen, so we'll see how he does. Cooking up a nasi goreng. Whoa! I swear it's like 103 degrees. I want to make sure it's Hey boss, that's the best nasi going anyone's ever made. This is one of my favorite restaurants in Bali. Yeah. So. How, Pretty cool. how often do you come here when you're in Karamas? Um, well, this is the first year that I've come here, but I've eaten here every night. Yes, I highly recommend it. We just, High a, five. we just made a nasi goreng. Yeah. Well done. That was pretty sick. <laughs> it's yeah. good. It seems like there's like so many different like flavors of spice. Just help yourself, Leo. You're right. Any good type of chili, but this one. I'm the chef. I can do whatever I want. That's the spice one. Ashton's gonna eat his first Balinese chili. That thing looks terrifying. Oh, you went for it. Is that a terrible idea? Okay, I think it's strong. <laughs> My mouth is on fire. I have no idea what that chili pepper that I ate was. Bright red and yellow and f***ing hot. Like the second I bit into it, I knew it was a bad idea. He looked at me and was like, you ate the whole thing? I didn't know you only ate half of it. But everything else in there was delicious. The other spices, like everything in there, ridiculous. This is yours. Really? That's the one I made? Yeah, that's the one you made. Yeah, thanks so much for this idea. Thank you, enjoy, yeah. Good <laughs> Leonardo Guarón. That was fun. It was nice to eat a nice meal, a not at commune, and Leo and Chris are out of here. Are you guys out of here? Thank you. Yeah, that was sick. We'll see you guys later. Karamas, the best airwave. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. That's a loaded question. Because it's like a skate park, it's sick. It's the most consistent air ramp. It definitely is. It's like perfect ramps. Don't ask me, I'm not an air guy. <laughs> it just like comes at you and it's really good. Yeah, it probably is the best air ramp on tour. You get the right one, you get the biggest section. Mechanically, yeah, I think it's probably the best. Right now, Karamas is the best air wave. Especially when that little wind chip comes and the airborne series fires up and I'm just losing my mind watching guys do shit. I'm just like, what the fucking blunt fucking method just you just like everything goes into slow motion too when you're in the barrel or you're in the air everything just stops i don't know it does for me where's this guy's invite <laughs> i gotta make some air before i get out. invited you got that speed and then you get that launch at the end and you get this kind of flat section but has just enough soft landing yeah so you can boost something huge out here. You know, a lot of the best airs in the world are going down on tour now too. You got Yago, you got Gabrielle, you got John John, Felipe. You just Julian. gotta wait four days to see it happen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever. You gotta follow I mean, 45 we, bad heats to finally see one. We've been waiting three days to see <laughs> shitty waves, bro. Come on. At least they're putting down some big stuff, Kelly. Come on, mate. The big one, we'll talk about this one. Let's get creative, right? Like, we've got some of the best talent that do some of the craziest stuff in the best video sections and that, so. Show us it. We New fate, we've got some young guys, which is rare. We've got Eli, 16, Bronson, 14. We've got Jay Davies, we've got Ian Crane. We've got Finn McGill, Aton again. Noah Chipper, of course. Matt Miola, Kalani David, all the regulars. And then Lee Wilson. That's super exciting. Oliver Kurt, Reef Hazelwood. Out of these 18 guys, we're going to see some crazy stuff.
guy sitting all over me. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Oh. Oh. Film Jay Davis putting on a medium singlet quickly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can you give that guy a, a P test? <laughs> you know what I mean? Look at him. The guy is so ripped. It's kind of a little bit frustrating because I haven't really gotten a wave out there yet. <laughs> and they're like starting the air show at like 6:30 in the morning. I'm like, ah. Mason on the next one. It might be a bit of a shit one to be honest. This one for a pun. Maybe not. Make that! Oh. Oh. Wow, he came out of the bowl on that thing. Yeah, it was Friday morning. It's been two days since our last um, our last first round. We got to score a really good morning this morning. You know, we got the push of the tide. I mean, obviously we're going against any like laws of physics, trying to get the guys to punt at 6:30 in the morning. But the boys have 45 minutes at Karamas, pumping three foot Karamas. Yeah, it's early, but it's sick. Are you frothing? I'm frothing. I like the morning. So. Sick. See, there we I go. Just have it like Eric's professional. Good job. Uh, no, it is. Like, <laughs> yeah, good job, Ian. <laughs> I didn't even know I made the final. For sure, me, Eli. Kalani, we've got... Did I say Ian? Ian. And then, I don't know. I think Mason's still in, right? Oh, Mason made it. Yeah, Kalani and myself. Me and Jack. Me. <laughs> Dude, that's sick. Six legends. I made the final. <laughs> oh my God, there's another Do one for the brother. Hey guys, Eric, this is my horse, my horse is up, front three, let's make it. Oh. Oh. Stupid back. Oh. Alright, we're gonna do something straighty. Oh my god, that's crazy. That's a wrap for Bali. We're just rolling into Margaret River for the next stop on the World Championship Tour. We're gonna go meet up with the Prince of Yelling up Taj Burrow and find out why they say that the West is the best. Thanks for watching No Contest. Hey guys, this is Kanoe Igarashi. Welcome to Red Bull Serving's new YouTube channel where you can find all the behind the scenes action from All In, 21 Days, No Contest, and Red Bull Airborne. Click up here to subscribe and you can find plenty of more content on this side of the page.